This is a tutorial on matrix multiplication. Now the concepts involved here aren't quite as simple as matrix addition or subtraction. So let's take a look at what matrix multiplication actually entails. Now a critical point to keep in mind before you actually start multiplying matrices is to first check to see that the number of columns in the first matrix equal the number of rows in the second matrix. Because in order to do matrix multiplication, the columns in the first matrix has to be the exact same number as the rows in the second matrix. So for example, here, our first matrix has three columns and our second matrix has three rows. Now since those two are equal, we can multiply the two matrices together. And the resulting matrix that comes from multiplying these two matrices together will have the same number of rows as our first matrix, and it'll have the same number of columns as our second matrix. So our resulting matrix, after multiplying the two matrices together, should have two rows and two columns. So our resulting matrix will be a two by two matrix. And since the number of rows for our result is determined by our first matrix, and the number of columns for our result is determined by our second matrix, then we're gonna do the multiplication by taking the rows from our first matrix and multiplying them to the columns in the second matrix. For example, if we take the first row in our first matrix and multiply it by the first column in the second matrix, we'll get a result for the element in the first row and first column of our resulting matrix. So we use the first row from our first matrix and the first column from our second matrix. So the result will be in the first row, first column. Now how do we actually do the multiplication? Well, what we do is we take the first element in the row and multiply it by the first element in the column. So for example, we have the negative three times five. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add that to the second element in the row times the second element in the column. So we're gonna have the seven times zero. And then we're gonna add that product to the product of the third element in the row and the third element in the column, which will be one times nine. Now let's evaluate what we just wrote. So we have a negative three times five, which is a negative 15, plus seven times zero, which is zero, and then plus a one times nine, which is nine. Well, negative 15 plus zero is negative 15, and then plus nine gives us a result of negative six. So in our first row, first column, we have a value of negative six. Now this time, let's stay in the same row, but now let's do the second column. So now we'll multiply these numbers together. And when we do that, our result will be in the first row, second column. So right here. So let's take the first element in the row and multiply it by the first element in the column. So that will be a negative three times a negative one. And then we're gonna add that to the product of the second element in the row and the second element in the column, which will be seven times four. And then we're gonna add that to the product of the last elements in the row and column. So the third element in the row is one, and we're gonna multiply that by the third element in the column, which is negative two. So now let's simplify this. Negative three times negative one gives us a positive three. And then we're gonna add that to a seven times four 
which is 28. And then we're going to add that to a 1 times a negative 2. Well, 1 times negative 2 gives us a negative 2. Now let's add all these up. So 3 plus 28 is 31. And then 31 plus a negative 2 gives us a value of 29. So the value for our element in the first row and second column is 29. Now let's move on to the second row. So now let's take our second row from the first matrix and multiply it by the first column in the second matrix. And we're going to do the multiplication the same way we've done before. So we'll take the first element from the row times the first element in the column, which will be 2 times 5. Then we'll add that to the second element in the second row, which is 3, times the second element in the column, which is 0. And then we're going to add that to the third element in the row, which is 0, multiplied by the third element in the column, which is 9. Now let's simplify this. So 2 times 5 is 10, plus 3 times 0 is 0, plus 0 times 9 is 0. So 10 plus 0 plus 0 ultimately gives us a value of 10. So the value in our second row and first column is 10. Now let's go on to the last part. So now we need to do the second row and the second column. So let's start off by taking the first element in the row, which is 2, and then times the first element in the column, which is negative 1. And then we'll add that to the second element in the row, which is 3, and then times the second element in the column, which is 4. And then we'll add that to the last element in the row, which is 0, times the last element in the column, which is negative 2. So now let's simplify. 2 times negative 1 gives us negative 2, and then plus 3 times 4, which is 12, and then plus a 0 times a negative 2, which is 0. Well, negative 2 plus 12 gives us a value of 10, and then plus 0 gives us 10. So the value in our second row and second column is 10. So when we multiply these two matrices together, we get a resulting matrix that looks like this. Now let's take a look at one more example. Now here with example 2, we have two different matrices that we want to multiply together. Well before we could do that, we first need to check to make sure that the dimensions are correct. So again, the number of columns in our first matrix must equal the number of rows in our second matrix. Well in our first matrix we have one column, but in our second matrix we have three rows. Now when something like this happens, it means we can't multiply the two matrices together. It just doesn't work. So matrix multiplication would not be possible for this example. And that wraps up this tutorial.